If you ever need to create columns of data that don't quite match or are quite difficult to do when using some of the formulas that are available in Excel, then the flash fill, which is actually new to 2013, is going to blow your mind. That's possibly over-egging it a little, isn't it? Well, let's see it in action and see how impressed you can be. We're going to take the employees file from your working folder and just insert another column here. If I wanted, for example, first initial and the surname of all my employees listed in this column here, then I could use a number of text manipulation functions to do that. Or cleverly, I can use flash fill. Now, how the flash fill works is that you give it a sample of something and then it figures out the rest. So the sample I'm going to give it is W Parker. So that's Wendy's first initial and her surname. And then make sure I go back onto W Parker, go to the data ribbon and come along to flash fill. You click this and just watch what happens. As if by magic, everybody's first initial and their surname then appears in this column. They are not formulas, they are actual static values. They are text you can get in and make a change. But the flash fill has actually filled that in for you. It's even done the column heading by taking first N and surname to give me a column heading sort of matches what I'm trying to do with the data. Now that is clever. Let's see it in action with the address. So a new column. And let's give it an example with our Wendy here. Let's say the Vale, which is her house, her street, and her town. Back onto the cell, flash fill, and it manages to go through all the data, picking out the house, the street, and the town. And it even does the column heading again, saying, OK, I've taken the house, the street, and the town city column. And I've stuck them all together in the pattern that I've assumed correctly. As long as the pattern makes sense, that's the main thing, then it can spot what you're trying to do. So you can use flash fill for what effectively would be clever concatenation or even extraction. Let's see it do a little extraction. Let's scroll to the right and have a look at the email column. Now, if I wanted to extract from this email address the prefix, so everything before the at, that would take some fairly complicated formulas to find out where the at is and then remove the rest and just leave the wendy.parker. Flash fill will do this for me. Let's insert another column and give it a sample of what we're looking for, which is wendy.parker. OK, that's what I'm after, please, flash fill. Click back on Wendy Parker and flash fill. Now, it doesn't quite do it, does it? It's gone and chosen first name dot surname. So it's sort of got it right, wendy.parker, mario.desilva. But when we get to the next one, it's gone for arthur.great rather than ag at. And the next one, it's gone for michael.fontenroy rather than mike at. Now, we do get a little menu with our flash fill that pops out here, where we can undo the flash fill, or we can accept its suggestions, or we can select all the cells that it's changed because we want to do something else to them. Well, it's actually got it wrong. I'm going to undo the flash fill. Now, the reason that it went for first name surname is because that's where it looked. It looks at the whole data and says, I think you want Wendy dot surname, first name dot last name. Now, we can trick it into not going that far by actually inserting another column here and leaving this blank, in which case, when it's looking for a possible solution, it won't go over this blank column. So this ditch is in its way. So now it can only look at the data here on the left and on the right but there's nothing else there where it could effectively misinterpret what I'm asking for with wendy.parker. Then we hit the flash fill, and we see that this time it understands it. Wendy.parker is the prefix to the at. Mario de Silva is the prefix to the at. AG is the prefix to the at. Mike is the prefix to the at. Grant is the prefix to the at. So we had to sort of trick it a little, but it still did it. It understood what I was after and went ahead much, much quicker than trying to use some complicated if and find and mid functions to effectively strip out the prefix to the at. So their mailbox name is what I've been after here. I can then go delete that empty column because it's done its little job for me. And I'll just rename this column as prefix. That's their email mailbox. So that's flash fill. It's certainly worth a try. Select the cell, flash fill, and see what it does. You'll notice that there was a keyboard shortcut for that as well. You can make it work even faster. If you hover, you see it says Control E. Pick a blank column, put in what you think, flash fill, see what it does. Notice we needed that blank column to try and trick it not to using other columns in the list. But apart from that, it still saved a lot of formula work.